All right, in this video, we are going to do something completely different. Sometimes you just need to walk away, get away from all the stuff you've been doing, like financial stuff, Bitcoin, crypto mining. You just got to walk away and try something else for a while and then revisit what you know. So right now, we're just going to have some fun here, uh, going through some basic French sentences. Uh, these are a nice little, little tips and stuff, little expressions you could learn if you're interested in learning, um, say, French. Or these uh, sentences could be used basically in any language you want to learn. I, I suggest picking up a, another language just for fun, just to become basic conversational. That would be a nice achievement. And um, also, it's just a nice hobby. Kind of a nice distraction away from the normal stuff you do on your day-to-day -day life and i highly recommend it uh you go at your own pace you don't study the basics they taught you in school because that's how you never learn anything teachers that teach the old ways have no idea what they're doing you have to learn the spoken part of the language the written part of the language is completely different than the spoken part in most in most cases of what i'm finding especially in french so here we have a list of 38 basic sentences. Uh, sometimes you can refer these uh, to these as language islands. This is kind of just a starter sheet. What I would recommend is sit down and open a spreadsheet, uh, Google Sheets or whatever. Make two columns. Make uh, English. Write down your basic sentence. Something you would um, envision being in a situation you have in your day to day and just write it in English, like the conversation you had uh, could be at the grocery store, a restaurant, uh, going out for a walk at work, just a basic conversation you had. And then write that down. Take that English text, run it through Google Translate and then get the uh, target language uh, translation. In this case, it is French, 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 France, French, not Canadian French. I don't, it's, it's pretty much the same, just the uh, accent, right? Uh, from what I understand. So you can write it in any language, Spanish, whatever you're trying to learn, but just get these basic, basic uh, language island sentences, conversation. That's a great way to learn. When I picked up, started to get into um, kind of the French is I was given about 10 language island type sentences in Basically, sentence that you use in greetings and everyday life, basic small talk stuff. It was an excellent way to jump in and start picking up the language, the target language. Again, this could be applied to any language. Uh, I, I kind of made a mistake of jumping into some of those paid apps like Duolingo and some of this crap. Those are gamified things just to give you a do dopamine hits. You're not really learning. It's taking a long time to learn. Uh, learning vocabulary and, uh, you know, the banana eats the pineapple. It's just, all right, you're learning words, but they're not practical everyday sentences unless you're kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, or the owl flies into the sun while having a pizza. I don't get that. So complete waste of time. Uh, I suggest kind of going through these sentences, these uh, language type islands, these sentences that you will use every day. It's a great way just to dive into it. The grammar will come to you. As you start going through these, uh, English, French, Spanish, all these are Italian or Latin based. So there is a lot of commonality with the languages. You'll start picking them up and you'll see just a lot of commonality between the language. And right off the bat, you know a lot of the words. You just got to tune yourself into it. And then as you start to build your vocabulary up through sentences and that, you start to make it easier or find it's easier to listen to podcasts because you'll start com comprehending more of what you're hearing out there. Uh, that's just my experience so far. So I started out doing the basic apps, kind of going through the basic grammar stuff, wasted, wasted time, realized I wasn't learning anything. And I was actually started off, I had actually started off correctly by uh, having been given like 10 or so language island sentences in my target language, which was French. And it was the greatest way. And I was given the audio as well. It was the greatest way to jump in. And I kind of lost my way for a week or two. 
<clears throat> then I got so frustrated. I said, what's the best way to learn? So I spent probably three weeks finding stuff about language comprehension. Is that the way to go? But without language, with language comprehension, you really need to have vocabulary. You have to understand the words. So you got to build up your vocabulary. And then one of the best ways is with these kind of language islands type sentences, stuff you would use every day, you'll repeat them. And then you start to become familiar as you keep using the word over and over again. Like, oh yeah, I know what Saquon Beyond means. All right, you've used it so many times. Uh, how much does that cost? Now it's second nature. You can even take a short story, a paragraph in your target language. You can also run it through a frequency, word frequency counter, and it'll show you how many times each of the words is used in that paragraph. And then just to cut and paste that, run it through Google Translate, get the translation into your uh, mother language, uh, and you're good to go. Then you can start working on those words. You know, words, most of the words, you know, the common words you see a lot, blah, blah, blah. You'll get those under your belt real quick. And then there's the ones that you see once in the paragraph. And then you just got to repeat those, put them in a sentence, get them in context, and you're good to go. So in this exercise, let's just go. This is a good way to start with the language island type approach. Just basic, basic sentences, not just words. You're not just going through the words trying to do rote memorization, which never works. And you're not doing grammar, which is a waste of time. Just start speaking, get the pronunciation down. And uh, with this, there is an audio uh, you can listen to as well. Uh, you can also use Google Translate to run your uh, language island sentences, get your target language, and then you can run that through Google Translate and vary the speed through the settings. It's free. Again, none of this is going to cost anybody any money. It's a great way to immerse yourself. You could kill literally two months. Just soak this up. Start speaking. Start making your language islands. Start building up your vocabulary. And that you just, it's going to take time. Uh, learning any language while you sleep crap is just that. I don't believe in it. I don't think it works. I don't, I don't, it's just a waste of time. You got to do the work. You got to sweat a little bit. So write out your sentences, just build up, get your base. And now this is just one little example how to do it. And what I have also is I've created a whole spreadsheet here. I'm going to show you guys my secret sauce. I just started doing this a week ago. So at the bottom, you see all my tabs in Google Sheets. I just made a whole bunch of some um, language islands based on different events. Kind of some are just all blabbed together. Some are based on certain situations. Some are, this is, this is the, um, a uh, short story and again this is the case of where I went and ran the uh, frequency of the words through and you can see the count here the uh, French and in English this word appeared 54 times and all the way down to the ones that do not appear that much which are you know like right down here you know uh, vu you know stuff like that toilet uh, sort uh, what else we got in here it just shows you these have only appeared once in that story. It's a short story. I cut and paste and I got the uh, French and then I, I just ran it through Google Translate and got the English with the uh, frequency. That's one thing I did as well. Verbs. I just want to grab the basic verbs off the Internet just to eyeball them. Um, these are the basic ones. Right. The infinitive. Is that right? I'm still working on that stuff, but. Common phrases. I might have grabbed this off the Internet somewhere. And again, go through, you just uh, say it, repeat it, say it, repeat it, say it, repeat it. And then you can actually plug this in to Google Translate, one of the columns, your French column, and then play it and then repeat, right? Right? Takes work, but you got to do it. Uh, these are a thousand most common. And one of the tricks also, if you just want to do the words, you can do uh, associations and uh, Uh, focus on memorizing the verbs that way. I was just thinking of something else. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so here I put the association in a third column. This, I think, oh, you know what I did here? That's why I kind of got stumbled. I went through and I used Google, I used um, ChatGPT, and I just said, generate me a common list of most frequently used words with their English translation supplying a mnemonic association the problem with that is the ai generated the mnemonic association you really should do it yourself because it's based on your experiences uh letting a computer give you the mnemonic may not work for you because you got to go by what you know if you're in a you know 
certain things, you can equate those two things. A TV show like that, like, uh, isn't rats or something? I don't know. Something, I forgot what the word is. I was thinking of, I, I tied something. So as you do it over and over, you associate stuff with the word. So mem, same. Oh, mem looks like same. Uh, mem, uh, mem representing same in an image. Mem, I don't know. It's just, you do stupid little things that work for you. I'm just, I'm just trying to give you an example of what I did here. Uh, 500 most common, same thing. This is just real basic. Uh, this is really just the eyeball. It's hard. You're not going to rote memorize these. You just got to start seeing these in context and language islands, stuff like that. And uh, you'll start picking them up over time. Look at that. There's quite a bit. I mean, it's almost just a dictionary lookup. So it's there for reference. Phrases, again, the point of this is to read and repeat, plug them into Google Translate, hear the audio, and it just gets you on the pronunciation. And you start picking up the words and everything. How old are you? Uh, here's some stuff. Here's some dialogue. Me too. Moi aussi. You know, stuff like that. Uh, a bunch of different phrases here. Again, these are all, I tried to make them all related to a certain situation. What is this one? Uh, some more of the same, just trying to break out. Oh, I think I got this from a YouTube video. I just took the transcript and I translated it. And then uh, instead of playing the video each time, I just wanted to have the uh, English and the French just so I could eyeball it. All right, what else? Uh, more of the same. Here's a video. Yeah, I did the same thing and I just took the transcript and then I just put the uh, translation as well. And I just plug this in the Google Translate. And practice, repeat, practice. And let's see what we got here. Same thing. And what is this question? Up. Oh. oh yeah, one thing I, I just was having trouble with. I just tackled it for a couple hours. I went through all the question stuff. How do you ask questions? When do you use this? Kiss, kiss, kiska, stuff like that versus all the other ones. Again, this can apply to any language. I just wanted to break it down. And, uh, you know, Eska, here's how you say it, you know, the phonetics, stuff like that. So this is all what I did. And you just build this over time. This took me over a week. I just kind of, you get motivated. I know it's like homework, but you got to do it. It's, it kind of helps you learn. All right, let's get to it. We wasted enough time. I just want to give you enough backstory on what I do. So let's bring this puppy up. Bum, bum, bum. Here are the words. And you just go through. And you get an idea. Hello, bonjour. Do you speak uh, Spanish? Do you speak French? Parlez-vous français? Blah blah blah. So what is good too is you can play an audio file. You can put these in the Google Translate, write, and then um, get the French, and then play the audio along with it, and then repeat uh, whatever you want. And then there's an audio file. I think I made one, or I have one here, or I was given this. I can't figure out how I got this thing. Where is, oh, here it is, I think. All right, let's zip through it. It's an MP3. I must have got it from someone. All right, let's rip. Uh, so we play this, and we'll just go through it. So are you ready? We'll give you five seconds to get ready. All right. Is it say prati? Is it prat? All right, let's go through number one. It's going to go pretty quick. So let's start. Bonjour. Parlez-vous français? Je parle français. So what you can do, that was just an example. I typically hit the space bar and you can pause if it's going too fast for you. Uh, you can slow down the speed. I'm using quick time. There's probably other players you can do to slow the speed down. But uh, I'm just doing normal speed and I'll hit the space bar to pause just so I can repeat. So let's start again for number one. Bonjour. Bonjour. Parlez-vous français? Parlez français? Je parle français. Je parle français. Je parle un peu français. Je parle un peu français. J'apprends le français. Then there I pause it. Je prends le français because I want to breathe too and I want to kind of digest some of the stuff I said. So if it's going too fast, that's just one trick I do. Um, but speed, speed's good too. Votre français est bon. Votre français est bon. Merci. Merci. Mon français n'est pas très bon. D'où venez-vous? Je suis américain. Je suis américaine. Je ne suis pas français. Je ne suis pas française. Vous êtes français? That's number 12. 
I'm just going to let it rip. I'm just going to read along. Vous êtes française? Vous êtes français. Vous êtes française. C'est combien? C'est un euro. C'est un euro. C'est deux, trois, quatre, cinq euros. C'est quoi ça? C'est quoi ça? Je veux ça. Je veux ça. Je veux l'acheter. Je veux l'acheter. Vous avez appris le français où? J'ai appris le français en ligne. J'ai appris le français aux États-Unis. J'aime la nourriture française. J'aime apprendre le français. Je veux apprendre le français. Je veux manger de la nourriture française. Je veux boire du champagne. Vous avez de l'eau? Je voudrais de l'eau. Je voudrais de l'eau. Vous êtes allé en France? Je suis allé en France. Je ne suis pas allé en France. J'ai mangé de la nourriture française. Je, mange de la nourriture française. Je n'ai jamais mangé de nourriture française. Je, Je veux, veux aller, aller en, en France. France. Vous habitez où? Vous habitez où? J'habite à New York. Oh, I'm sorry about that 38 one. <laughs> Anyway, there you go. That's an idea how you can do language islands. These are just basic ones, but again, you can apply it to any language. Again, I'm just doing this. I'm a newbie at this, but I find it's kind of helping uh, just to get the base built up. And then I think what I'm going to start doing is um, more of these uh, repeat, play and repeat, play and repeat, just to get the you know speaking, speaking, speaking. Again, if you want to get good at something, you got to do it, like speaking. A lot of people do the reading and they're listening, but you, if you want to speak, you got to speak. So that's one thing I've learned. I've kind of been hesitant on that. And uh, if you know someone who's, who speaks in your target language, by all means, bug them for a few minutes. Again, they're not going to, they're not going to, again, people have their own lives. They're not going to want to jump in and give you hours on the time, but just ask them a couple of questions and move on. You know, you can do this yourself, uh, rinse and repeat and speak, speak, speak. You got to practice. Uh, what you want to be good at. So anyway, that's all I got. That's this was something I put out there a little different, getting away from the crypto finance stuff, letting things gel. Um, uh, you always got to have a uh, diversity in a good way, the good word of diversity in your life and trying different things. And this is one way, just do something different now and then mix it up, you know, get outside, try something new. All right. Let me know what you think. If you guys are, uh, Francophones or uh, any kind of language genius, let me know what's worked for you. And uh, I'm always open to learning because uh, you don't know what you don't know. All right. Thanks, guys.